Hello guys, this is MVP Comics. If you like my videos, click like and leave a message. Let me know which videos you would like me to make next. Thanks for watching and leave a comment in the comment section. Bye. Marvel's Iron Man number five. Tony Stark is getting back to basics. He's resigned from the board of Stark Unlimited and is taking a hands-on approach to doing good in the world. Outfitted in the new streamlined version of the Iron Man armor, hear him? Can you hear Korvac? No, not right now. Thank goodness for a cat's nine lives. I think I'm down to about five or six. Jeez Louise, your armor is starting to look like a bad trade-in. Rest up. We are going to need you, but for now, I'm going to speak to the others in private. Okay, sorry there's no coffee or donuts. But I don't have time for the usual pleasantries. And full transparency you are all I could find on such short notice. I wasn't exactly busy. I mean, I was busy. No, not really. I wasn't busy. Is Hellcat okay? And by the way, Stark, I'm charging by the hour for this. This is the best day of my life. Hellcat's fine, listen. I had Halsey in here track you down because I have to keep a tight lid on this or James Rhodes could get killed. So that's why the Avengers aren't standing here. Let me catch you up. Dehydrated. There's a lot to get through. Did you guys all look up Korvac on the internet before you came here? Good. Long story short, he's back. You might remember him from from some of his greatest hits. Like killing every Avenger and having the ability to eradicate all of existence. That was when he was a full-on cosmic entity. Right now he's just an android. Well, he's an android that has supercharged himself with a lot of petawatts of energy. For reference. The Earth absorbs around 120 petawatts from the sun at any given moment. Nice, some good news. He's not as powerful as the sun. My best guess is he made himself that powerful in order to storm Tatu, Galactus Worldship, and possibly to take on Galactus himself if he has to. Can I get some of that water? My hunch is he wants the power cosmic. The last time he got his hands on it on Tattoo. He essentially became God. And we couldn't stop him. You already met Halcyon. He's new. But he knows any engine inside and out. He's literally unflinching because he's got a mutant heart rate locked at 70 beeps per minute. This suit stimulates his adrenal system, so he's not instantly killed while hanging out with us. Questions? Yeah, I have one. Go ahead. How do we stand the chance? This group? I have no idea. My best answer is you have me, so my advice is do as I say. Then and only then can we hope to stop Korvac. Look, I'll do this for Rhodes, Stark, and you know the universe, but that doesn't mean you're not still an... Yeah, I don't really have time for your opinions of me. I've had enough of those from everyone. I need you all to get to work right now. Overstock Warehouse The Bronx Lord Korvac, Guardsman is in position, and we've locked in the coordinates. Thank you, Unicorn. Acolytes. This ship will take us to the doorstep of Heaven itself. 
You got rid of the goatee. Good call. Can't tell if you're more focused on the saved, or the savior. We need to move before Tatu moves from the Gus sector. We can't pull Stark out into space after us. He has to be sacrificed here, on this planet. The vessel has been placed and activated. Good controller, continue to prepare for our departure. All I need is an hour. Patsy, Patsy. No, I won't tell you anything I won't. Save Rhodes, save Tony. Let me save you all. Years ago. And you've assisted in this procedure before. Yes, several times. You think it'll be effective? Electroconvulsive therapy is usually a last resort for me. But we've got to tamp down the voices she's hearing. With a clearer mind, she'll have a much better chance at recovery. Keep going. Follow me. Bring Stark with you. You just want us dead, Korovac. No, Patsy. I feel how you've suffered. How you are still tormented. When I make all things one, your torment will vanish forever. Rain, how did I? I don't want you hurt again. You think I haven't dealt with voices in my head before, Gorvac? You know my light. I will free the world. Maybe. Maybe screw yourself. Ignorance, such fearful ignorance. Suffer then, feel every bit of your fear. I've been playing it as a given that I should stop him. No matter how convinced Korvac is that he should perfect the universe. He has to be out of his mind, he has to be wrong. Doesn't he? His intellect has never been quantified. I have to admit, a small part of me wonders if he really does know better. I can't count how many ideas I've had about how to save the world. How sure I've been, and how I've been wrong basically every time. Something folks love pointing out to me these days. A lot of people have thought they were God over the span of history. Is it possible one of them someday could be right? You got something? Resources in the Bronx says there is a mass of radiation signatures coming off a warehouse in Port Morris. What's inside? According to the shipping website, overflow inventory for hearth and home furnishings. Does somebody have this? I don't know American Sign Language. He says power output like that has to be from a combustion engine. He says a giant engine. So unless a hearth and home has a big ass propulsion system in its spring catalog. Guys, hell cat is gone. Where on earth is Stark? There you are, Patsy. Let me write to him. You okay? I'm sorry I used you as bait. I knew you'd still be susceptible to him. I knew he'd draw you out. Fire. Fire, I see the fire is here. Ah, see? Don't let the fire touch me. Please. I don't want to be in the fire. What did he do to you? Damien, this is hell. I don't want to be here. Help me, oh God. Patsy, no. You're here, that's over now. It's me, Tony. Fire, fire, teeth and fire and teeth. I'm dead, my soul is dead. I am, I am. 
Patsy, listen to me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have let him near you, Patsy. You're going to be all right. Stark, it's Misty. We're closing in on the off-planet engine in Port Morris. Wait for me to make your move. And Misty, be careful. Who knows best? Is it me? There is a man with a bum inside. Patsy, I have to go. No, don't go, don't leave me. Fire and teeth. I will be right back, I promise. Who knows best? Don't leave me to them. There you are. The hero. Make sure you separate your whites. You don't want your clothes to bleed. Bleed. Yes, speaking of which, you look like you could use a change of clothes yourself. A bomb then? Of course not. I don't want anyone to get hurt. You want to take over the universe, yeah, with the best of intentions. Well, let me tell you what good intentions get you. Nothing, zero. Oh ye of little faith. You think you can somehow save every single thing. But you don't think I can pull it off? No. <laughs> Is there a better candidate? You, perhaps? No one would trust me farther than they can throw me. Including me. But if someone had to call all the shots, I'd much rather it be someone who knows what's right. Stark, we're here. We found the ship. It's a Shi'ar jump craft. Disable it. Honestly, I think you just want to be in my shoes. I think you want to make all the proclamations. I think you're tired of being told you're wrong. Hold on. Tony, there's nothing here. What? The ship is a shell. Even though the star drive is powered up, the lights are on. But nobody's home. Come on, Tony. You're smart enough to have studied the Odyssey, aren't you? Misty, get out of there now. Get out of there. Misty. Anybody. Do you read me? You're misguided, Stark. You like to think you're in charge. But the truth is you're just an upright worm. No, 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 no. You'd better leave matters that you're not suited for in more capable hands. Is that it? Was that everything? Your suit is completely spent. Isn't it? You don't have your mobility systems. Patsy. We'll leave in 10 minutes. Tell Guardsman that the false ship was a great success and that he'll be rewarded in paradise. I'm sorry, Tony Stark. Cervical fracture axis critical ligature compression. But I promise you it will all be so beautiful. <laughs>